In this class, we will try to build an integration which can read the file from FTP server. Now I will clone this integration which we created in our previous class, click on clone. Now I will rename this to read, read file, click on clone, then click on edit. Now I will delete this download file operation, click on reset, now I will call FTP connection once again, name this as read file, click on next, here we have to select the operation as read a file, here I am giving some details, clicking on next, here it will ask for the sample, we can have a XSD, CSV, XML document, JSON document, I am clicking on CSV as I am trying to read the CSV file, click on next, here we have to upload the sample CSV file. I am uploading from my local computer now. I have uploaded the CSV file. Here we have to give the record name. Giving as a record. Record set. I am giving as a record set. It will ask what is the delimiter used in the file. It's a comma. So I am selecting comma. It could be semicolon, tab, character set and all. I am leaving default. Mark all as optional. I don't want first row as a column header. So I am unchecking this. I am considering every row present in the csv file as a row and mark all as optional but i want first column as mandatory click on next and done now in the mapper we have to send the directory and the file name what it has to read expand the file request from the request we should map the directory and the file name click on validate Close, save the integration, now we will activate this integration, now we will test this integration, go to body, remove the target directory details. Provide the source directory path and the file name. File name is this one. And once you upload all the details, click on test button. So with this method, you can read up to file size of 10 MB. 10 MB here is the catch on data post transformation in integration, not the size of the file. Click on refresh. Click on the message received from read file. Here if you see, we will get the details what it has read from the file in a record wise like column 1 value is 1 for this particular row that is row 2 and the column 2 is 30. So like this we can read the data from a CSV file or any file with the help of FTP connection.